I'm Lisa Chan Carnazzo with The Grub Company, and June is Pride Month, and here at Oakland-based Harmless Harvest, you know the company that makes that delicious pink coconut water? Well, they came up with a creative way to celebrate and show support. Joining me is Andrew Becker, the Vice President of People and Environment. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. Of course. So, well, first of all, you came with the idea that Harmless Harvest should host a company drag show. What a great idea. Why did you come up with this idea? Yeah, drag has such deep roots, within, I think, the gay community. And um, it makes sense because I think the idea of like not conforming to gender stereotypes or like being able to express yourself however you want has so much overlap when it comes to the LGBTQIA plus community that um, it felt like it fits so well as like an event. All right, so I have to know, what was everyone's reaction here at Harmless Harvest when you proposed that they needed to participate in a company drag show? In general, like very supportive. So. Um, I think I was expecting a few more like wide eyes than I got. Like in general, people were, you know, really into it, wanted to participate and like wanted to be involved, which I thought was wonderful. Um, you know, there's some, I was, I'm nervous to do this. There were some people who had no idea like what drag actually was before they signed up to it. But I think that really just speaks to like the inclusive culture that we've built here um, and how we kind of like show up and support others. So. And I think it's great that even though people were nervous, they still wanted to do it and they still wanted to participate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like the beauty in it too, to me. Um, you know, putting yourself out there and being uncomfortable like for charity, I think is just something that's super noble. And, you know, I applaud all of the, the employees that participated that day. All right, so this all was for charity. How was money raised and how much was donated? Yeah, so we raised money two different ways. So we raised money through like personal GoFundMe accounts that every person participating was able to share with their network on social media um, or, or like friends and family. Through those, we raised uh, over $5,000 collectively. Um, the collective pot of money that was used, or that was raised, um, went to the winner's charity. So the person who won the whole competition basically took all of that money, um, and then Harmless Harvest matched that donation too. So we'll be donating over $10,000 to the winner's charity. So which charity was the winning charity? The winning charity was the Jasmine uh, Foundation based out of Florida, um, which has done great things for years, but like right now is hyper-focused on um, well, acting against the Don't Say Gay bill that was put uh, into law recently, so. So this was a year and a half in the making. How did the event go? So well, I, like, I couldn't have asked for it to go any better, but there also were so many good conversations that stemmed out of it that like only happen in a safe space. And it's so important for, I think, those conversations to happen. We had people who said like, I'm doing this to show my kids like what acceptance really looks like, that you don't have to fit norms. Um, we had people ask like very good questions on like the difference between gender identity and sexual orientation and just things that I think like wouldn't have happened if we didn't create the safe space for that conversation. So all in, I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. Well, I attended the event. It was so much fun and I look forward to attending next year. Yes, we can't wait to have you and everyone else. Right. Thanks for talking to me, Andrew. Of Andrews. course.